Modern dating apps make it seem easier than ever before to find a romantic partner. But that appearance is actually deceiving. When you talk to people who use apps like Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, they actually often seem to be quite dissatisfied and almost upset and annoyed. You might be one of those people who are tired of those apps and want to find an alternative. And so in this video, I want to give you the three reasons that I see why online dating is never really going to work for you and I'll show you a way out. The first reason why online dating is fundamentally flawed is that it makes the whole process of finding a romantic partner feel a bit like shopping online. And so basically you are giving the system what you want, it shows you some recommendations and then you click on the things that you like. And that's of course where the analogy breaks because for some people they actually get the products they click on and for some of them they have to click a long time and some of them they click and click and never really get any products. The first group which actually gets the products, they just actually start seeing this whole system as a marketplace. That creates a lot of problems because then these people become kind of exchangeable and like with everything that you can uh, buy on the internet, you're never quite satisfied and you keep consuming more and the system is also built in a way to keep you wanting more. And so the whole vibe becomes one of commodities being exchanged. We don't like to be treated as an exchangeable object, but that kind of mindset creeps in and that's one of the main reasons that these people often end up pretty scarred by many of the experiences that they make over there. It doesn't feel good to objectify and productize people, but especially it doesn't feel good to, to be objectified and productized yourself. Then there's an, of course another user group in those dating apps who don't actually get what they want when they click on the product. Uh, some of them they never get it at all, some of them sometimes get it and for both of them there's actually another huge problem which is they don't see the rejections. They don't see the pain and the confrontation that comes from someone telling you no, I don't like you. And so they don't have a lot of motivation to increase their attractivity or to really change themselves, to develop themselves into a better version of themselves. While shopping is about comfort, it is about getting what you want as quickly as possible, dating is deeply linked with personal development and it's important to feel rejection and to go through discomfort when you are trying to build your personality in a way that you can relate authentically with other people. The second reason why online dating actually doesn't work for a lot of people is that it overemphasizes the superficial aspects of attractivity. It really puts a lot of focus on the photos because that's what you really see on this two-dimensional screen and in a couple of seconds or even less when people scroll through those profiles they basically just look at the picture for a split second and then decide. And of course, you cannot necessarily transfer a lot of your personality through a photo, especially if taking photos or looking great on photos is not exactly your thing. And so obviously you would get much more compatible and much more desirable matches if you could show more of your personality. And on the other side also, you will tend to choose people based on pictures and then often find yourself with people that are not really compatible with you in the real world because you made that decision based on a superficial um, criteria. And what comes on top of this now is that technology makes it very easy to distort those superficial appearances, pictures, videos, voices, all of that can be generated these days and distort it in a way to make it more attractive and most people will probably use some form or another of those kinds of technologies because in that online ecosystem it just makes sense to be uh, looking more attractive in any way that you can. And so those signals will become less and less trustworthy and that's something online dating will never really be able to solve. The third reason why online dating in my eyes is fundamentally flawed is that it puts too much power into this handful of companies that run these apps. Because when you subscribe to the paradigm of online dating, you basically allow those apps to decide who you get to date, who potentially could become your partner in life. And that's a power that I would never want to give anyone else. 
that's a power that also those companies will actually exploit because they're still for profit and their interest is not necessarily to get you with your dream partner right away. They want to keep you around because that's how they make money and they also won't give you the most desirable dates right away. They want to have you pay them for that and so they will squeeze more and more money out of you to kind of tweak the algorithms in your favor and give you more desirable matches and that's kind of a deal with the devil. So those are the three reasons I see why online dating doesn't really work for me and for many people out there. First, it makes the whole experience seem like a product marketplace. It's not really designed to help you grow and to help you confront difficult rejections, but rather to make you comfortable and to give you this illusion that someone else is solving the problem for you. You don't really have to do anything. You don't have to grow. Uh, second, it's basically denying you the chance to meet a really compatible partner because it's forcing you to convey your attractivity through pictures, which for many people is very hard to do. Their attractivity is just in other dimensions and online dating doesn't give them a good path to really show that value. And then third, you have these centralized companies who exploit their power to decide one of the most important aspects of your life, your love life, and that's a power they will clearly not use in your best interest, but rather in their own. So you might ask, what's the alternative? Like, should I just uninstall dating apps and go out and meet people in the real world? Well, yes, you can do that. And you might think it's super inefficient or super, super inappropriate, but that's actually a myth. And so if you learn how to do it properly and how to make it part of your authentic nature, you can really integrate that into your everyday life and meet people wherever you are, whenever you want to. And that way you can actually get many, many more good opportunities than online. And uh, you can also learn how to do it in a way that's very respectful, very modern, and that is appreciated by almost all the people that you'll talk to. And so it's always still going to be a bit more uncomfortable than the experience of online shopping, but that discomfort is something you want because it's going to force you to grow. It's going to become like a workout for your social skills and it's going to become something that you enjoy like a workout at the gym. If you want to know more about how this whole process works, how you can become extremely good at meeting people offline, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also check out the website offlinedating.com. You can actually schedule a free one-on-one -on -one call where I'll explain to you exactly the step-by-step -step procedure for building enormous social confidence and making sure that you never need dating apps again.